Morning. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. We just arrived at our Airbnb. We are staying in um, the 30A area for a little yeah, vacation. And yeah, and we're and we're all right at Florida. Yeah, we are. Hey, Emmett. What? Come here. Come tell us how your first plane ride was. Well, it was terrific. You did. It was terrific. Did you have fun? Did you have a good pl first plane ride too? Yeah. yeah. Well, well, I was sleeping in a little bit. <laughs> um, we got up at 4 a.m., got everything loaded up in the car, and then drove two and a half hours to Nashville to catch our flight. We walked on the airplane at the very last moment, I think, and we were like 45 minutes early, so they, they started boarding the plane extra early, and... Um, it was a very full plane. They don't do assigned seats, so we were going to all be split up. And there was just the sweetest people at the back of the plane who offered to get up to let all of us sit together, which was such a huge relief. Um, but the flight was just about an hour, and honestly, the kids did amazing. Once we got off the plane, of course, we were the very last ones because we were at the back of the plane. Um, we went to get our bags. Hi, Cece. And oh, one of our suitcases uh, did not make it. Hello. Go get one veggie straw. Okay. Our um, um uh, this don't, don't. suitcase that had. No. It's okay. You guys can share. No. You guys can share. share. The oh, the suitcase that had David's clothes in it and like the kids stuff and odds and ends did not make it to Destin, so it was stuck in Nashville. When we rolled up to pick up our luggage, um, there was like five bags pushed off to the side, and one of them was the suitcase that had all my stuff on it, in it, and I asked one of the workers there, I was like, are they still carrying stuff in? We stood there for like 10 minutes. I thought they were still carrying suitcases in. She's like, no, that's it. I was like, oh good, we're, miss we're missing a suitcase. Um, so David had like the baggage claim tags and we we checked two suitcases. He only had one luggage tag and of course, thankfully. Yeah, and is that this Lego guy I got from Target? Yeah. Um, the one that he had is the one we needed, thankfully. But um, she looked at him and she's like, yeah, but it's still in Nashville. And I was like, oh, that's good. So... She said there was another flight into Destin at three from Nashville. They were going to fly the luggage over and then they're going to deliver the luggage tonight, hopefully. So hopefully we get that suitcase. The really funny part is, is that David and I spent so much time last night rearranging stuff through suitcases. We did like a carry-on suitcase and then two big suitcases. And I did have all of the kids stuff and David's stuff in the big, one of the big ones. Yes, sweetie. Me? Yes, just one second. Okay. Um, I did have it all together, and the weight, it was just, it was over 50 yeah. pounds. So, the last minute, I was like, forget it. I emptied our carry-on suitcase, and I threw all of the kids' clothes inside the carry-on suitcase, and... Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so, the kids' clothes made it, my clothes made it, but David's yeah. did not, and all of the kids' shoes are in that suitcase. What? the monitors and Collie's pillow. So hopefully it comes tonight, but yeah. That was about the, the only true downfall we've had. Um, we rented a minivan and I think I've convinced David to switch out our Highlander for a minivan now. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. The storage and the space in there is just, you can't beat it. So we had a nice little drive. We stopped at Target, we got groceries which is what my kids keep bringing to me. They are, um, they wanna eat everything in sight, which granted, they haven't had a ton today. Um, okay. I'm all by myself. Okay. We're gonna sit at the table and eat, okay? We need to get this stuff out of the Bobby, living room. Bobby. We'll open these, in, let's go to the table. We'll open these at the table, okay? Bobby. Bobby, let go. Yeah, Bobby's like, snacks are sorted. But anyways, we had a nice little drive in, um, and got here, everything was ready for us. I did film a little tour of the Airbnb before we started unloading and um, unpacking all of our stuff, so I will insert that next. But um, this place is absolutely amazing. David, would you say this is like probably number one prettiest Airbnb that you've ever been in? Oh yeah. 
This is super, super nice. I mean, even the one that we stayed in before that is like in this same little condo vicinity, like it has nothing on this. Yeah. Like this is super nice. Yeah. Um. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna insert our, the little tour, vacation <gasps> rental tour for you guys um, now. And then we'll catch back up later. All right guys, this is what it looks like when you walk in. To the left, you have the kitchen. Super tall ceilings. This place is immaculate. I mean, and it is beautiful. It is decorated to the T's. There is just detail work in every square inch of this house. It is beautiful. You guys can see there's like shiplap that lines the entire first floor. So beautiful. So to the right, you have a dining table. Look at this chandelier. Seashells. That is so cute. So you have this really big dining space. Um, there's a table that seats six. You have doors that lead off to a little private balcony. Um, you have like a wooded area behind you. So you definitely have privacy looking out back there. And then you have the living room, lots of seating. Definitely a good space to have your family come. You're all going to have space to hang out. Again, the shiplock wall is so beautiful. And then we have the door that you come in. And then again, the kitchen. So you have your bar. This is fully stocked. Everything you could possibly need is in this kitchen. So you wouldn't have to worry about bringing anything. Um, all of your appliances. Look at this stove. This <laughs> is so nice. You got your Keurig and your coffee. I love the artwork that she has here. She has a lot of these watercolor pieces and I think they're gorgeous. So you have like some um, dishwashing pods, garbage bags. There's a manual for the house. Look how gorgeous this is though, guys. I've never seen an Airbnb like this. So beautiful. Back here, we have a laundry room. So there's a washer and dryer. Look how many beach towels they provide. There are a lot of different accessories for little ones too. So there's a high chair. Um, there's pack and play here, a baby bath, uh, all kinds of stuff. Looks like there is a steamer, which is good because I was wondering if there was going to be one of those here. There's an iron. And then, guys, there's a bog bag. I actually had mine packed, and I had to take some stuff out of my suitcase to get it underweight, and I left my bog bag, so I am so excited that she has a bog bag here that we get to use. That is awesome. And the little name of the Airbnb Sandpiper on 30A, so cute. This is a little half bath. So you'll have a bathroom right on the garage entrance and on the first floor. And um, this is just like where the trash is. She also has a bunch of board games and toys up there for little ones. I think she's thought of everything. <laughs> And then there is a pantry, which we brought some stuff. We did stop at the grocery, but there was like all of this was already here, except for the Reese's because we brought this. And then in the garage, I have to show you before we move up to this second floor. Out here, guys, she has the golf cart. So. I believe it's a six seater golf cart. So you'll have access to that. We have bikes and there's even a little attachment for the kids, which I'm so excited for because last time we were down here, we couldn't ride bikes because we didn't have anything for the kids. So I'm super pumped about that. We have two cool cabanas. Those things are amazing out on the beach, which you get access to. You have the cooler. Look at all of the beach chairs. You guys can bring your whole family. There's even more coolers down there. Um, looks like there's a grill over there. And then look at all of the pool toys. 
So there's stuff you can take to the beach. There's a wagon in here. I mean, all of the kid toys. You guys, literally, you don't have to bring anything. There is so much here, fully stocked. So this is amazing. The kids are super excited about the golf cart again. They love that. So let's go inside and let's go look upstairs because it is so beautiful. It smells really good in here too. Like I feel like I have to note that. So the stairs again, there's like shiplap lining all up the stairs. And little sconce lightings, the details. So these wrap around. And again, super tall ceilings. Okay, off the stairs we have a their first full bath up here so there's one in the master and then there's this one which is really nice um the shower has shampoo conditioner body wash um fully stocked on the bubble bath um there are a ton of towels here which i feel like that's something that a lot of the um airbnbs just do not have enough of are towels and this place is stocked so that is so nice Again, absolutely gorgeous. The details are just top notch. And then we have three bedrooms. So this is the first bedroom. And this is a, I wanna say it's a king. It might be a queen. It's a really big bed, I can't tell. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, super tall ceilings. Lots of space here for guests and kids. The next bedroom I'm gonna show you is my favorite. <laughs> it's like where the kids can sleep. There is a TV on the wall and there is a large closet here too with lots of storage. So again, here's a couple of baby items that they have, um, pack and play, which we will be using. So there's a tub and a sit me up. And then another thing that I appreciate so much is that she has sound machines in all of the rooms. So that's something we cannot leave the house without. So I love that she has thought about that and put that in the Airbnb. This room is so cute, guys. Look at the bunk beds. Oh my gosh, I die. They have cute little um, lights that you can switch on and off, little night lights. How cute. Emmett is obsessed. He wants, he's already called the top bunk. He wants to sleep up there. Um, so there's two twin size, and then this is a queen. Pretty sure this is a queen. So the other one must be a king. And then you have this bed again, another sound machine, and here's some more of that really pretty artwork. It's like all of um, the little local buildings and landmarks so cute so this is where the kids are gonna hang out if not another TV and then this is the master huge huge ceilings um, shiplap on the ceiling and we have a king-size bed Huge windows, lots of natural light. You guys can see the view here. It's just all greenery, trees. And then you have your master bath over here. So you have the double vanity. Again, fully stocked. Look at all of those towels. Fully stocked with everything that you could need in here. You've got your shampoo, your conditioner, your body wash. A beautiful rain shower I mean so cute I'm obsessed I love it so much um, and then you have a very large closet again with tons of space and they have like extra linens and stuff up there but so beautiful. 
guys that is the tour of our airbnb i hope you guys enjoyed it this place is amazing it is a must see if you guys are looking to take a trip to the 30a area definitely check it out i will have a link to the airbnb down below and again if you guys message um laura the owner she is willing to give you guys a little bit of a discount if you mention my name but this place is worth it it is absolutely beautiful she has thought of everything and you can tell that she has put her heart and soul into this airbnb and i am so lucky to be staying here for a week i can't wait to bring you guys along and show you all of the things that you can do in this area an amazing family friendly area um and this condo is so family friendly i cannot believe the amount of stuff that she has here for the kids and just thinking about all of the little things so Again, if you're looking for something, I will have a link down below. And I wanted to give you guys a little tour before the kids start unloading all of their stuff. And it doesn't look as pristine and beautiful as it did when we first walked through the door, but amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, it has been a long travel day and I'm not exactly sure what our plans are for tonight. The condo is right across the street from the hub which is an amazing place to go and hang out so many families usually like congregate there in the evening they have events and stuff and um we might check out their schedule and see what they're doing over there because it's just a very short little walk right across the street um but yeah we're gonna sit down relax for a second um and then get going What are you doing? <laughs> you got that? Can we go for a little stroll? See what's happening out here. This is the hub right across the street. This place is so fun. I like that place. Got it? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, guys, that is the next day. Um, I don't know that I actually, I think I got a couple clips from last night, but we just went across the street to the hub. It's super nice. You can just walk across the street like it's a two minute walk um and the kids ran around and played they have a ton of shops and food and all of that stuff right across the street so we did that last night just to lay low kids ran out a ton of energy and then we went back and we had dinner we just made dinner at home and we had an easy night we are out this morning we stopped at Nectar across the street. Um, it's in the hub as well. Got some coffee. And now we are on our way to the Alley's beach area to find a playground for the kids to play. It is like 70 outside. It's really, really humid. Um, but honestly, we're used to humidity because they need it, right? It's constantly humid where we are. So it is like warm, but we're all in long sleeves. Packing was difficult. <laughs> it's like I didn't know what to bring for this time of year, but that's what we're up to today. Um, we're gonna play, run out some energy, and then we'll go back and Collie will nap. We'll get cleaned up and figure out what we're gonna do with the rest of the day. No um, ah! That's the plan right now. This coffee is delicious if you do come to this area and um you go over to the hub it, the coffee shop is called nectar and this is a iced vanilla latte and it's delicious david got a americano which is what he always gets and this is good too all right we're here so this place is pretty cool it's like dunes of grass little mountains to climb over there is some sand and slides but sis does not like the sand so she's not loving that we put her shoes on so she'll walk in the grass right sissy <laughs> emmett loves it though he is like Working up a sweat. We definitely could have did shorts and a t-shirt. It's hot. Ah! Woo! 
Whoa. What do you think? Whoa. But yeah, this is really cool. So this is Allie's Beach. It's a little playground. There's like a little rock thing over there. A tunnel. A little music thing. And then over there is really cool. There's like a slide and a little rock wall. What is it? Climb. Climb. Good job. I'm it up on top of the mountain. Are you having so much fun? Yeah. But can you get a video of me going from here? Yep. Yep, I got it. Keep going. See if Sissy will try and go up there. Whoa! I mean, it's just like a ninja. Ah. <laughs> Got it, buddy. That was so good. Can I see? Yeah. Okay, ready? Go! Yeah. Good job. Are you making music? I might have something in my teeth, but we are in Seaside. They have the cutest little shopping area back here. You can see this huge like yard to play in. So we just came over to the little food trucks uh, to the meltdown and got grilled cheeses. Collins, look. Dad, can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> so it's actually kind of late-ish. It's 6 or 542. It's super foggy out, so um, visibility is not that great. It's so warm and humid. Um, but we're gonna let the kids play down here for just a little bit, run out some energy, and then we will head back. Um, but yeah, we had a good day. We went and played at that little play place. We went and had some donuts. We did a good little walk. We went back, had lunch. They took a nap. Okay. And then we got dressed and came down here to do a little shopping. We're, we're going to come back though because we forgot our seaside bag that gets you like 10% off your purchase. So we're gonna come back and do some shopping again. But it was good to get out of the house and the meltdown is delicious for grilled cheese. But I'm gonna go join them. We're gonna go play. Look, can you see yourself? Yellow. Are you having so much fun? I don't know where one of those balls are ours. No, I don't either. We have to bring them. We'll bring some next time. This looks like a fun place. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> this is awesome. It is so foggy out though. Hey guys, future editing Brooklyn here. So I did not get as many clips as I thought I did as the in-between kind of explaining what we were doing um, so we're gonna be jumping from day to day pretty quickly um, the last clip that you guys saw we were over in Seaside we had dinner we went shopping um, we got ice cream and then we headed home and then the next morning we had breakfast at our rental um, and then we got the kids ready and we went over to Grayton Beach and we went to a really cool place called Rock, Paper, Scissors. And basically you walk into this little store, there's all kinds of like kids toys and cute little things that you can purchase in the shop. And then you go upstairs and there are walls of crafts that you can pick from. Um, and you basically pick a craft that you wanna do and then you Put it on a tray you get like your little shirt on um you pick your paints and then you go and you sit down you paint your craft or whatever your craft entitles you do that um and then they have like blow dryers set up so you take it over to like the blow drying station and you dry it and then you can go back on and add all kinds of different add-ons both the kids added like little rocks and crystals and glitter and stuff like that 
and then you dry it again you wash up and you get to take your craft home with you so it was a really fun um thing to do with the kids i think that honestly toddlers to like older kids would enjoy it um and it was not a very far drive from our rental at all our rental was very centralized to everything so we could go like to all of the different little beaches along 30a and do different things and i mean the longest car ride i think was maybe 20 minutes um for us for what we did so once we left Grayton beach we um went back home we had lunch we did the naps and then we went back to seaside that night we just love seaside the environment of it the shopping everything so we went back to seaside that night and we took our little seaside bag if you spend so much you get a reusable bag and every time you bring it back um you get 10 percent off your purchase for the seaside stores so we had forgot it the first night we went to seaside so we brought it back and we got some new seaside shirts and stuff um like that so we did that that night and then it's going to jump into the next day and that's when we went to um the deer lake state park so the night that we were driving home from seaside the night before my throat had started to bother me um and i just thought that it was like drainage and stuff so then the next morning i woke up and i was not feeling well at all i had a fever um and i just like didn't sleep very well but it was a pretty day it was like the first day that the sun was actually out so we wanted to go to the beach because we hadn't been yet so i did get footage of us walking uh deer lake state park they have a beach there you walk over sand dunes and it's less than half a mile from the rental it seemed like a very private beach because there wasn't a lot of people there at all um and it was just beautiful walking over the bridge like seeing the sand dunes and stuff it was absolutely gorgeous so we did that we sat out on the beach for about an hour the kids had so much fun playing in the sand we actually got a lot of sun just being out there for an hour we went in our full like clothing and uh mom Phil did not do sunscreen because i wasn't expecting it to be like super sun sunny um but we did get a little bit of color nothing like bad or anything but it was close to nap time so you'll see the clips of us at the beach and then we headed back to the condo and that's when i started to get really sick um i was running a really high fever and i had really bad body aches and my throat was killing me um come to find out i ended up with strep throat <laughs> and i had my doctor call me in some medication but that kind of put a damper on the last few days that we had there there was still so much that we wanted to do we did end up going out on our very last day and heading over to rosemary beach which i got some clips of that where we walked around like the little town and went into some of the shops they have a really fun shop down there called Gigi's. there's so many like really cute baby clothes and um shoes tons of toys like it's a great place to take kids and then of course there are a ton of places for adults too lots of shopping and food and just it's beautiful the buildings and the scenery is just gorgeous and so i do have clips of that as well and after that we went back to the rental we started packing up as best i could david really had to take on a lot the last couple of days because i was not well at all and i was just honestly trying to get to a point to where i could travel home um but we made it home and shortly after we got home a couple days later i was feeling back to normal um i'm still actually on my antibiotic for strep throat but that's a whole nother story i'm super bummed that um our plans kind of got, got cut short by the sickness but we still had so much fun i really wanted to show you guys in this vlog kind of all of the different things that you can do as a family with your little ones obviously the 30a area is a, an amazing place for um families if you have smaller kids there's just so much to do in every little town every little beach and then there's also lots to do though if it's just adults so um you know if you don't want to go to the beach every day there are so many different activities and stuff you can do with the kids to keep them occupied and then if you don't have kids and you do want to go to the beach every day there's a million different beaches you can pick from you can go to a different one every day if you want to um and then i loved the location and the rental that we were at just 
because of how close we were to everything. Being right across the street from the Big Chill and the Hub, amazing. Um, we're going to be going back later this year and we're going with another family and staying in the same rental. So that's another thing. Maybe you want to take a vacation and maybe it, it's out of your budget. Think about maybe asking a family member to go with you or another couple that has kids and you guys can split the cost and you guys will have a blast. I'm so excited to be able to go later this year with our closest friends because we're going to have so much fun. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of come on here and give a little bit of a briefing on what you're going to see next because the clips are um, very like choppy. I guess I didn't realize that I wasn't like giving intros to the days. So um, yeah, you'll see like the next day and you'll know it was the next day. But that was kind of a run through of what we did. We did most of our eating in the rental because the kitchen was fully stocked with everything we would need to cook you just need to go to the store and get your groceries um so we were able to like save a lot of time and just chaos with the kids by um having everything to eat in the rental we literally we literally only ate out once and it was whenever we got the grilled cheeses um in seaside that was the only time that we actually like ate out for dinner or anything. Other than that, we just got ice cream a couple of nights um, and that was it. There are stores right around the corner from the rental. So we just dropped into the store a couple different times. Um, so yeah, that's a little rundown. Again, I will have all of the information for the rental down below. Uh, Lori is the host. She is amazing. Again, you guys can reach out to her. She is offering a small little discount if you mention my name, um, but it's an amazing place to stay. She has thought of everything. You literally just need to pack your clothes and get there and the rental has everything you'll need. Um, and it was an awesome place to stay. So I will have that information linked down below and enjoy the rest of the video. You'll kind of get a little glimpse into what we were doing for the few days that we were there. Good job, sissy. Yep. The glitter? Not yet. You have to paint some more and then we'll put it on when you're done painting. Emmett, what are you painting? A turtle. Are you painting him all green? Here, put a little bit more paint. This place is so hand. cool. You can pick from all of these crafts. Maybe around the eyes. Yeah, all of these crafts. Sissy picked the gnome. Pick those. Good drawing. We are headed off to the beach. This is, is it Deer Lake State Park? So you walk over some sand dunes. This wasn't open when we were here last time, so we're checking this out for the first time. This is really pretty. Walkway. You can already see some of the dunes up there. Look at all these dunes. It's pretty cool. Their bees are ferocious though. There are a lot of bees. <laughs> okay, we came down to Deer Lake Beach. It's like a state park and it's like not crowded at all. It is super sunny, very warm. I'm kind of wishing that I came with bathing suits and stuff. Um, obviously we can't get in the water, but just to like, you know, enjoy the sun a little bit more. But this is really nice. It's been really foggy along like the coastline and stuff and it is super clear. The waves are rough, but like the ocean is beautiful. And guys, look. Colin is playing with the sand. <laughs> Baby steps, but she's doing it. We brought all the little sand toys. Our um, rental had all these plus so many more little toys that you can bring out to the beach. She also had a bog bag. Yeah, not even half a mile to get here. Um, 
It's just super nice. Very close. You can drive the golf cart. I think we'll probably end up coming back. This is really nice. Like, there's no one here. Sissy. Sissy. Hi, Collins. Hi. <laughs> Emmett's got a castle creation. This is still going in the sand. See, we're happy about that, huh? Pretty out. Alright guys, it is the next day. Yesterday we went um, to the beach. We were only there for like an hour maybe. We went home for the kids' lunch and a nap. And then I started feeling really sick. Um, with like body ache and fevers and fever and stuff and so we did not do anything else for the rest of the night I'm not feeling great today either um, so we haven't done anything it's four o'clock we um, I had some antibiotics called in because I'm pretty sure that it is strep throat but we leave tomorrow so we wanted to come into Rosemary super quickly and um, just kind of walk around and see what's going on um so that's what we're going to do i was hoping to do like a full beach day today but yeah it just wasn't feeling very well plus we got a lot of sun yesterday just being out for like 30 minutes so we just pulled into rosemary we're gonna find a parking spot and walk around all right we are in Rosemary Beach. The beach is actually right here behind me. It's a really pretty walk up. The kids are running in this little grass yard area. It's one thing I like. There's always little areas where the kids run out their energy in all of the little beaches. And this town is so cute. We stopped in to Gigi's Boutique. Kali got some bracelets. And it got a little mystery thing. She'll have to come over here and show you. Kali, come show me your bracelets. Come show me your bracelets. Let me see what they look like. Oh, goodness. Those are so pretty. Yeah, they're taking pictures. There's a wedding going on. Hey, sissy, stay over here. There's sand over there, okay? There's the beach. How pretty it is. This is a little town and there's Gigi's over there. All right guys, that is everything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and coming along with us on our vacation. We had the best time. Again, I will have everything linked down below for the rental Sandpiper on 30A is what it's called. I'll also have the Instagram down, link down below if you guys wanna follow them over there. Um, and she only has a few dates left for this year. So definitely get your vacation on the books. And of course you can go ahead and start booking into 2024 as well. But thanks so much for being here and we will see you in our next vlog. Thanks for watching.